Hey, it's Elior Sterling here. How you doing? So, three weeks on tea. Tuesday is my tea day. Excuse me. And I had my third shot uh, on Tuesday. It's now Wednesday, like in the middle of the night as I'm recording this. Um, but it's kind of like my functional Tuesday still. Anyway, so just wanted to kind of check in see what the changes are, and also just talk about life right now. So, physical changes. I'm going to have to compare this video with my previous videos, but I don't feel like there are any changes at all physically. There's been a lot of psychological changes, things I've figured out for myself, about myself. The biggest one is I was so worried about I was going to start this and then I was going to regret it, or... Um, feel uncomfortable with the idea of being a guy. So this is actually kind of interesting. As a child, I used to occasionally dream that I was a man. Um, in fact, like, this is a little bit awkward, but my first ever sex dream as a, you know, adolescent person, I was a man, which I always thought was really, really weird. And, uh, yeah, throughout my whole life, I've had occasional dreams that I was a man, but I was never myself as a man. I was always some other man. Anyway, ever since the day before my first tee shot, all of my dreams, I am either totally just a guy or I am me, trans man, n navigating the world as a trans man, but I don't have... Literally, I haven't had a single dream where I thought of myself uh, or experienced my body as a female body since starting tea. That's an interesting psychological, like, tink. <laughs> um, another thing I talked about in another video, clothes. Oh my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> I love boy clothes. I always loved boy clothes. Why didn't I just dress like a guy the whole time? I could have just been dressing the way I wanted to and stopped. Like I never had to try to fit into some female version of beauty. Why didn't I understand that? Uh, you know, I'm 49 years old. This is just to point out to you, you are never too old to learn an obvious fact about life. <laughs> um, not sure what other psychological changes to point out. Um, I am, I'm feeling very happy about this process, even though I don't feel like I have any, uh, you know, signs that T is doing anything right now. Um, you will notice that I have a haircut. Yay. So the big thing about the haircut, I, um, I didn't want to get a haircut because of COVID. Um, but after I got my second vaccine, which I was able to get because I volunteer, uh, usually a couple times a week, uh, at the COVID mass vaccination site here in Walla Walla County, I'm a, a ham and I do stuff with the amateur radio emergency services, Aries. So I'm out there and people who volunteer at the vaccine clinics uh, are often, I, I don't know if it's every single time, but most of the time they have a few uh, extra shots. And so they offer those shots to the volunteers. So I was able to get first and second shot. And so now that I've had both shots, it's been uh, more than a week since my second shot. And between that and wearing a mask, I felt pretty confident about going and getting a haircut. My son recommended a barber. Uh, you know, being who I am, <laughs> I went and uh, looked up the barber shop and uh, looked for like the social media sites of all of the barbers that were on the list to try to decide which one of them I wanted to go with, uh, who who was not going to be weird about me coming in with a kind of girly haircut 
and being like, fix it, make me look mask. <laughs> I'm on tea now. We can't have this girly haircut thing. Uh, yeah, so I found a great guy. Um, and I went, I told him that I had been on tea for two weeks and, and I really needed a haircut to match all the rest of the changes. And he said, congratulations and listen to what I wanted. And I think he did a great job. I love it. Cause you know, I can spike it up or I can leave it down or I can, you know, push it back and make it look kind of conservative or whatever. If I ever need to do that, not that I would ever look conservative, whatever. Anyway. Um, and I can even gay it up if I feel like it. Uh, pretty soon I'll probably be putting some more purple in because I definitely need more purple. Uh, yeah, what else? Um, but really no, no physical changes that I'm noticing right now. Um, on the psychological changes thing, before I started tea, I spent a lot of time thinking that maybe I would just stick with my name, Elisheva Sterling. It's a good name. I like this name. Uh, Sterling used to be my middle name. It was the name that my parents were going to give me if I was a boy. And um, my big brother, David, really loved it. And so he wanted it to be my name even if I was a girl. And they said, nah, -uh, but they compromised and gave me that name as my middle name. And when I got divorced the second time, I was feeling pretty spiky. And so I just got rid of all of the men family names. No maiden name, not my dad's name, not my husband's name, just my name, Sterling, that's my name. And I feel good about it. I like that name. I like it as a last name. You know, I am, I am the first of my line. <laughs> that sounds really... That sounds bad. But anyway, I I love the name Sterling as my last name. And Ellie Sheva, it's a great name. And Ellie, you can be Ellie, like Ellie Wiesel. It's a man's name, but Ellie is also kind of a woman's name. And I felt like I could just use that and not really worry about my legal name being Ellie Sheva. But once I decided that I wanted to be Elior, I was like, Yes! I need to legally change this name now. Now, 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 now. Um, one thing I'm kind of a little bit worried about, some of the sort of transition name things, um, and whatever. I, I've i contemplated maybe making my name, my legal name, Elior, Elisheva Sterling. I had a guy's name as my middle name before. I could have a girl's name as my middle name now. I mean, most of the time I would just be Elior E. Sterling, right? I don't know. Maybe. I might do that. Or I might just go Elior Sterling and leave it be. I'm probably going to do that within the next few weeks. Um, so that I can go and change my passports and stuff and get ID and whatnot. Uh, I don't know that I'll try to change my gender marker on my ID just yet just because I don't know how hard that is <laughs> we'll see I don't know um yeah so I guess that's kind of another um a, another psychological change um life has been super stressful got uh my daughter-in-law has a baby on the way and it's COVID time and her OB is, wow, not, not a good fit, but where we live, they're really, they, they're pretty backwards here in terms of, um, in terms of childbirth. Like we live in a county where, um, none of the doctors will do a vaginal birth after cesarean. No VBACs in our county. You have to go to a hospital in the next county over if you want a VBAC. That, <laughs> that is just so wrong. So very wrong. I just can't even. 
Um, yeah, and so this OB just keeps talking about inducing labor at 39 weeks. And we're like, uh, no, no, <laughs> no, you are not inducing labor at 39 weeks, WTF. Um, so that's super stressful. And, uh, you know, and that five children in the house is about to be six. That's, it's a little bit stressful. And then my dad just got diagnosed with cancer. He also lives here in this household. I will do a whole nother video about, uh, difficult relationships with parents. That should be its own whole video because I could spend, I could spend a half an hour just talking about that. But he has been spending a lot of time down here. We've been having a lot of conversations. Some of the conversations are just helping him process um, and helping him think about what makes life worth living and uh, what he is gonna do with the rest of his life, however long that is. And uh, part of that is processing our relationship, which is something I honestly really would just, I don't really want to do that. I don't. That just sounds so wrong, but I'd rather just not. And yet, here we are and we're doing it. And like I said, that's a whole nother video. <sighs> so I've been super stressful, super stressed out. And today I was very, very tired. I, um, I just wanted to get away. I wanted to get out of the house. I, last night I got online and I was like looking around at like the, the casino resorts, um, up way up North from here, a, a few hours drive, like, I don't know, like three hours drive. There's a, a casino and resort that has a really nice spa and they have hot tubs and, um, and do great massages. I took my mom there for a weekend with like all the spa treatments there for her birthday a couple years ago. And it was great. And I was like, let's see if they're open. Um, and they are, they're open, they're doing massage, but no hot tubs. And I was like, I am not going to drive three hours just for a massage with no hot tub. I really want a hot tub. <laughs> so I didn't drive three hours. I'm not spending the night in the hotel tonight. And uh, instead I took my dog to the dog park. Woohoo. My dog had a great time at the dog park. And I stood around talking with other dog owners about how great our dogs were. Our, our dogs are great dogs. Yay, dogs. I love my dog. And it's fun to see everybody else's dogs. So yeah, that was my, <laughs> that was my not doing any work today day. Um, uh, and then I came home and I took a really long nap. I think I napped from like six until 1130. And then I realized I needed to do some Arabic and some French uh, studying because I have an 83 day streak on Duolingo and you don't just let an 83 day streak just disappear like that. You just don't. So, and now I'm here doing this. So I'm feeling kind of icky today. I'm still feeling icky. That one day off was definitely not enough. I hope I'm not coming down with a cold. Uh, None of the things that I'm feeling, well, I mean, I know that like muscle aches and fatigue can be a COVID symptom, but I don't, I don't think that's what it, what it is. Um, like I said, I'm vaccinated. I do wear a mask all the time. Um, yeah, so I don't think that's what it is. I think it's just a lot of stress <laughs> and who knows, maybe I do have a cold. It's possible. Um, yeah, so that's my update, and um, wow, my voice sounds really high to me all of a sudden. Hmm. Anyway, 
So I will see you hopefully next week. I'll do another video, even though I haven't done a video for a little while. Uh, oh yeah, one last thing. Um, I originally started this channel under my old Google account and, um, and I was putting up videos, but leaving them private so that in the future, when I come out, come out, I would just boom, make them all public, but they would all be dated to when I originally made them, uh, which I thought was terribly clever. But uh, now that I figured out what my name is and I realized that Lisha Vita is not really the username I want to stick with on Google long term, um, I uh, have opened up a new Google account. I'm moving all of my videos over. So these first few videos are all probably going to look like they were uploaded on the same day, which they were. And, um, and then we'll just go from here forward. And I'm not going to bother putting them private because, um, you know, I've come out to a bunch of people. I have not come out to the board of directors where I work. That's going to be fun. Uh, <laughs> um, but I have come out to all of my coworkers that aren't the board of directors. Um, I haven't come out on uh, Twitter exactly but i've kind of dropped hints and i also have a an alt twitter account that i've been using for a few months while i was deciding whether or not i was going to go on t and there's a, a few friends who know the ones who know know um i'll probably be closing down that twitter account here soon um and yeah there's there are plenty of other people who I've already come out to. So I will just, I will just throw these out into the universe and whoever finds them, finds them. And that's fine. Uh, I think I'm going to, you know, come out proper on, um, the trans day of visibility, March 31st. I think so. Let's see if I have the courage. Might as well. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my plan right now. And I will see you next time. Take care.